Hello everyone, and welcome to my Hero Buster Honda Tadakatsu video. I made this video today because a friend of mine has always been wondering how a Honda Tadakatsu is compared to Lubu. And since I just so happens to have both, I decided to show a Honda Tadakatsu today. Since uh, Lubu is rather straightforward. Anyway, I will show him off right now through an uh, actual battle. As I haven't exactly cleared the uh, last stage for Alexander, this is a good chance to go and finish it and show how uh, Honda is in battle. So, I don't have any other water friends, so I'm gonna have to pick up Liu Lingqi. Anyway, so yes, Honda Tadakatsu is a water type, and as water type, they have seems to have this uh, motif where they uh, have a more defensive skills. For instance, Honda Tadakatsu, he does a shitload of damage, first of all, but he also has minus attack L. So basically, when he attacks, not only does he do a shitload of damage, but he also reduces the damage of uh, all the other all the enemy attacks. This is something that Tomo Gosen also has, except she does less damage. Since uh, Honda is a superhero and all of that. Another of Honda's special ability is that he can uh, regenerate SP greater than everyone else. He has a skill called, uh, a hidden skill actually, called SP Factory. I don't know exactly if it's just for him or if it's for everyone else, so I'm going to spend everyone's uh, SP and see what happens. But I won't use Baoshi because Baoshi is another SP Factory. So... I'll use his second skill. There, now let's see the balls come flowing. It seems like it works for Honda, but more testing will be required. Anyway, so now I fought, I'm fighting the first boss, and it's, uh, well, the biggest Spartan you've ever seen. A, f a, s a terrorist, a wall painting, and a suicide bomber. Alright, well, let's go and uh, kill them all. Let's uh, use our second skills, because I really want to see if... Uh, if the SP factory does indeed work with everyone. You see these blue balls on the ground? These blue balls are basically the SP, and if they come to your body, you will gain SP. Now, uh, what Hana Tatakatsu is supposed to do is that each one's effect would be multiplied by, I don't know, I think it's about 50%, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, I'll go and also activate Marco Polo's uh, ultimate attack, or not attack, just ultimate skill, which for uh, one turn reduces all enemy attack damage to you while reducing your attack. However, if Marco Polo goes last, then, well, it's basically a free defense up for a turn. As you can see, with Marco Polo and all the attack damage reduction that uh, Hana Tatsukatsu did, well, the enemy attack does absolutely no damage to me. Oh, okay, maybe not no damage, but certainly a lot less. Let me go heal their stun real quick. But yeah, as I suspected, after I use all my attacks, I'm back up to full again. For, well, most cases. So, I think that SP Factory does indeed work with uh, the entire team. So, Hana Tatakatsu is actually a lot better than I've given him credits for. Oh, actually. I don't think I ever say it, it's anything about him. Oh, anyway. Let me go and uh, use water attack, take him out. Marco Polo will also attack this turn since, uh, well, most of them are already dead. I'll use Bowsy's uh, ultimate skill, which increases SP gain some more. Yep. The balls almost uh, heal me back up to full again. So yeah, Hana Tadakatsu gives uh, increased SP for pretty much the whole team for, from what it appears. And then if you team up with Bowsy, who has the ability to uh, increase SP some more, well, you have a pretty deadly combination of uh, constant spam attacks. Well, now that I finished this uh, preliminary stage and defeated the biggest Spartan you've ever seen, let's go and fight Alexander the Great, who is called as CONQUER KING! 
Alright, now let's go and fight him. First, I have to clear out these trash mobs. Since my SP regen is really high, I think I can spare a few attacks. We'll take out these trash mobs like these. I call them trash mobs, but they're actually really strong. They're the strongest trash mobs in the game. Normally, you would actually have to do a number of attacks to take them out. Okay, maybe not that cat, but other people, they would. Oh. See, as you can see, this Kraken doesn't take much damage from my normal attacks. Oh, well, I'm back up to full again. Thanks, Honda. Now, let's see. I'll use Ling Chi's Tomo Gozen. There. We'll be back up to full. Seriously, this is like free gas. Ridiculous. If we had that, we don't have to worry about filling up our cars again. If only we had Honda, Ta Honda Tatakatsu as a car, right? <laughs> anyway, although it does increase uh, SP regen, it doesn't increase the amount of... Well, actually, I don't know if it increased the amount of balls, honestly. It could be Bowsy's ability, but uh, the number of balls is dependent... I guess on the number of attacks you've done on the enemy. Because if I use auto attack, I don't seem to see a lot of balls. And when you... But you do get quite a number of balls if you kill someone. So I guess there's that. Of course, the SP factory doesn't work very well. The balls doesn't go inside of Tomo Gozen. Oh well, there's Alexander with, with his hawk. Let's go and fight him. And... Uh, heal him up first, because I don't have any healers in this team, just lots of serious defenders. Well, let's start off this battle by using all my skills. Reduce this attack. Although Tao Tao's ability uh, poisons him instead of reducing his attack again. I'm just going to overwrite that with yet another defense down, uh, attack down. And then I'll use Balsi's uh, increased SP regeneration. And then I'll use Marco Polo to block the attack for this turn. Challenge me? Sure? The English is good in this one. As you can see, I just took nearly no damage from him, and now I am free to hit him for no damage. Okay, maybe not no damage, but certainly a lot less than it would have been. He has awakened his sword. Though that's not a lot of damage either. The damage reduction buff is really strong. Like I said, order teams are all based around reducing enemy damage. And, well, you can see its effect firsthand. Too bad, though, that. Oh, actually, I still got a number of balls from him. Alright, let's see how much it will fill. Yep. Yep, as I thought. These balls fill. Ah! What just happened? Oh my god, I nearly died! I have no idea what that horrible attack was, but that nearly killed my party, so I better better heal up. If only I had more. If only I know when he actually uses it. This is the first time I fight him, so if I could time my attacks right, I can block that attack. It seems like he gives you a turn in between before he uses it, so I'll save up Marco Polo this turn. Now let's use Honda again. Oh shit. Uh, I don't need to reduce his damage for this turn. I'll use Tao Tao and overwrite my uh, attack down with poison instead. So he'll be damaged at the end of this turn. Or at the end of his attack turn. There, you see, he took 7,000 something damage from that. Now, let's cure my stun. I think the next turn he'll be using that large AoE attack again, so let me heal up first. And I'll use Super Dual Fiend and block the attack. Oh shit, he did not use it. Maybe next turn, but... Oh well, next turn I'm actually gonna... Yeah, I need to know what his attack patterns are, but I think I know for the first one at the very least. He's not using that attack again. 
though. Maybe he'll use it next turn. Let's see. Well, since uh, with SP Factory and Balshi, I'm all back up to full again. Let's spam our attacks. Super Sky Strike. You want Ping Stab. Frozen Blades. Super Song Velour. You want Ping Stab. Lower Attack. And then finally finish with Dual Fiend. There! There's that stupid attack! Wow! That still does a shitload of damage. I wonder if it's because it's a scripted amount of damage and it's not meant to kill you. But point is, is that he's almost killed me and that is no good. Let me use my potions now. He's on his way out, so at the very least, this battle is over. Yeah, it could be a scripted amount of damage. As in, the damage is meant to be that much, despite the fact that I have, uh... I have attack down and uh, super defense up from Marco Polo. But Marco Polo is really OP. I have to say, water teams are pretty much the bane of fire teams. Well, uh, besides the fact that fire is weak to water already, but fire is all about doing attack damage, while water is all about reducing damage to uh, as much as you can. So while they won't kill a boss as quickly, they will most certainly be able to survive. I don't know if there's any water healers though, but for now, this is the team that I use for my water. Anyway, Alexander is about to go down. Let's use Marco Polo to attack instead. Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. He didn't die, and now I'm going to take the break flash. Ouch. Well, that's fine. I can finish him off now. There, now Alexander is dead! I level up. Let's see what loot he drops. He drops a Conquer Plate. Probably with really good stats. Well, I gotta farm them later. And now I get treated with this... I guess... Cutscene. Summoned to the world, I was here for freedom and peace. I think they found the people I protected were not as good as I thought. Oh boy. Oh, this guy's... Alexander's trying to be Hitler now, that's just crazy. Truth door behind me, you will find answers there. No, unfortunately that's the end of this... This, uh... <clears throat> the at the end of the story mode playthrough, so I won't be able to go through any truth doors. Still, as you can see, uh, Hana Tatakatsu is a very good hero, and uh, compared to Lu Bu, who is just brute attack power with a special hidden ability to heal himself, I would say Honda is definitely a better team player than Lu Bu. Though Lu Bu is, uh, well, me and does a lot of damage, so yeah. What I would recommend is, uh, you can either put them on the same team, or, well, honestly, I would use just single elements for now, until a better team hero comes along that uh, increases attack by uh, 50 or 65 to all elements. When that happens, it would be good to have both Ribu and Han Hana Tadakatsu on the same team, because, like I said, Honda gives a lot of, uh, SP regen with his uh, SP factory and uh, Ribu does a shit load of damage like way more than Honda could ever do so combine these two together you have some uh, serious problem for the enemy anyway uh, I guess that's it for now 